Hi guys, it is a spectacularly beautiful, pretty much spring morning here. Monday morning, March 17, 2014, St. Patty's Day 2014. Good God, I am waking up from five days of non-stop partying here in South Austin, Texas. The South by Southwest close, comes to a close, and I step into reality with my peek into the end times that I have been missing while I've been partying while the planet burns. Now, this is not a picture of South Austin, Texas. This is a picture of Kabul, Afghanistan, I guess, where it looks like they've had some rain, and the, so these beggars have to, uh, looks like they just have to sit out in the flood, flooded streets to make their daily pita bread. Anywho, that's uh, there. There's a good peek into the end times right there. We we've got it all in that picture. Good Lord! Before I dive into the Monday morning mainstream media stories, let's go over here. I have not checked in with those old lefties over at Alternet.org. Uh, for a while, let's see, what is up with Alternet.org? No, you don't need God to be a good person. There we go. Here are 10 shameful ways America abuses its own citizens. Good Lord, uh, 10? I, I guess that was just the top 10. And speaking of which, this is probably in the top 10. Why income inequality is going to get catastrophically worse. Inequality is endemic to the core structure of an America that operates more as a plutocracy than a democracy. I've been reading Collapse by Jared Diamond, and he uh, reports over and over again that you see in collapse after collapse after collapse after collapse that income inequality is an ingredient in so many of these uh, collapses that as the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, at a certain point, it snaps and the civilization collapses. For your peak into the end times, of course, I'm sitting here drinking my cup of coffee this morning, reading the truth about caffeine. We know so little about our favorite drug. Yep. Let's see, of course, their story on this damn missing airplane. Here is the untaxed Americans. They would be, if you're not uh, aware of this, the untaxed Americans are the speculators, hustlers, and freeloaders of Wall Street. There you go, and let's see, they end up with why American milk might be worse for you than milk in other parts of the world. Well, that is an easy question to answer, but I'm not going to answer it here. I am going to jump right here into the Monday morning mainstream media headlines to find how this planet is rolling into the end times here on St. Patty's Day 2014. Okay, what's the latest on that uh, oil tanker from those Libyan rebels? Well, guess who has seas that guess it got away from the Libyan army. So we have the Navy SEALs, U.S. forces, seas tanker carrying oil from Libya rebel port. There, there you go. 
Uh, why should I not be surprised? It is the U.S. Navy SEALs sticking their nose in into that. Uh, and it has zero to do with the U.S. Navy. That is your tax dollars at work, guys. Why am I not surprised? Okay. More stories about the missing airplane. I'm sure there's 20 stories. How about this one? Uh, a day in the life of a marijuana lobbyist. As more states legalize marijuana, the cannabis industry is solidifying its presence in Washington, D.C. You know, how the hell can I get a job as a marijuana lobbyist? Uh, I think that might be my calling when I get sick and tired of being a doomsday prophet. I am going to apply to be a marijuana lobbyist. What do you guys think? All right, most of this stuff I already talked about yesterday. You would think they might have a new batch of stories <coughs> for Monday morning. Anyway, here's a cl uh, weird climate change story. North African dust stimulates Asian monsoons. Desert dust from North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula stimulates monsoon rains over India. A new study says suggesting that desertification from global warming may boost the flooding in India. There you go. As, as more and more of Africa turns to desert, more and more of Asia goes underwater. You guys, the, the planet is completely out of control. For anyone who is not aware of it, this planet is out of control. Okay, from there, let's go over. Let's see what all of these Mexican drug cartels are into. Where we see the AP headline, Mexico drug cartel makes more dealing in iron ore. So the drug cartels are going into planet eating. Why am I not surprised? Forget crystal meth, the pseudo-religious Knights Templar drug cartel in Mexico has diversified to the point that drug trafficking doesn't even rank among its top sources of income. No, there is a lot more money in, uh, in planet eating than drug running. Alright, again, I've talked about most of these, I like this story about this fellow, that this guy with a PhD was unable to uh, fill out his kindergartner's math homework. Did not, was stomped by the math homework. Okay, enough of that. Uh, back to the future of marijuana. It, it, and you better believe, guys, this ties directly into that marijuana lobbyist uh, headline I just mentioned. Is marijuana the future of big tobacco? Yes, it is. I, it is if I understand correctly, all of these big tobacco corporations have, have, uh, have had copyrights and registered trademarks and all that on names for their marijuana cigarettes for about 40 years waiting for marijuana to be legalized so the big tobacco uh, multinational corporations could hop on the bandwagon. This is exactly what is going to be happening over the next few years. Okay... Let's see. Uh, oh, let's get over there to the police state. Several stories about the police state. Here is U.S. cites security, cites security more to censor and deny records. 
Associated Press. The Obama administration has a way to go to fulfill its promises from day one to become the most transparent administration in history. The Obama administration is the least transparent administration in history. That goddamn little dictator makes, uh, makes Richard Nixon... Uh, look like uh, who uh, it, 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 in comparison I can't even uh, I, I can't even think uh, that, uh, Jesus this is one one more uh, of his you know lies enough of that lying sack of shit for Obama okay uh, more about this damn missing airplane and then more stories I read yesterday. Here's uh, still talking about this sabotage plot against this Iranian uh, nuclear facility. So now Iran is accusing foreign intelligence agencies and as being behind that and uh, guys I am not at all sure that that is not an incorrect accusation that I'm certainly not going to jump on this bandwagon at this point but it would not surprise me one bit if foreign intelligence agencies and uh, whoever that could mean are the ones uh, tampering in Iran's nuclear program. Yep. Okay, I think I touched on this one about global warming getting ready to uh, eradicate penguins off the face of the planet, at least from South America, from Chile. That's where they're going to go extinct first. All right, here is Rupert Murdoch weighing in on the disappearing Malaysian plane. Yep, all right. Okay, more earthquakes in California as the fracking ramps up. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see... Uh, and well, guys, I'm trying to find something that I haven't already talked about. U.S. Navy destroyer to conduct more Black Sea drills. Yeah, there you go. You know, guys, I remember seeing one right up top earlier. Oh, I, I can't believe I skipped right over this one since this was uh, perhaps the main headline of the day from Reuters News. The no shit Sherlock uh, headline, Russia can turn U.S. to radioactive ash. A Kremlin-backed journalist issued a stark warning to the United States about Moscow's nuclear capabilities on Sunday as the White House threatened sanctions over Crimea's referendum on union with Russia. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, gee, I've never thought of that one, that Russia can turn U.S. to radioactive ash. Now, of course, the U.S. can also turn... Russia to radioactive ash. I think we've realized this since about 1945, but I guess just that's for the people who uh, have forgotten this little fact that Russia or the U.S. could turn this planet to radioactive ash, although we're doing a, a, fine, a fine job of that with no help from uh, the U.S. or Russia. Japan's doing a pretty good job itself with turning the planet to radioactive ash. Let's see. Uh, 
I'm just flying ahead. I got to get to my uh, economic meltdown rant. Uh, so let me just run on through this one. More of this stuff about uh, the nuclear buildup in Iran. You'll be hearing more and more about that. Now, about how much of that shit you can believe on the mainstream media, that's up to you guys. Let's see, here's South Korea condemning North Korea's missile launch. Yep, I bet it is. More about the missing airplane. I mentioned this one about the U.S. delivering the Hellfire missiles to Iraq. That's going to come back to bite us in the ass. Okay, who do you think imports more arms, China or India? India imports uh, almost triple the arms of China. All right, India remains the biggest buyer of arms in the world, importing nearly three times as many weapons as its nearest competitors, China and Pakistan. And uh, Pakistan, I guess, coming in at number three, that's a pretty scary uh, scary thought there for peeking into the end times. Okay. Uh, gee, can we have another story on the missing airplane? Another story on the missing airplane airplane let's see here's another one on the oil tanker being seized by navy seals another story on a missing airplane so i would say the missing airplane story remains the number one story on planet earth today Okay, here is Hindu temple set on fire in Pakistan over blasphemy. I guess there was some rumor that one of the members of this Hindu temple had desecrated a Koran. So uh, the response to that was to burn down the entire temple. There you go. Now I mentioned this one. This is Associated Presses. I, I read you uh, Reuters version uh, of this one yesterday. This is Associated Press. I might talk about this more in my business roundup here in a minute. China announces plans to expand cities. China has announced plans to expand its cities to support economic growth by allowing millions more rural residents to migrate to urban jobs. Now, of course, the uh, Kool-Aid drinkers would say this is Agenda 21 in action. Which, uh, on, on, one, uh, on one level, I agree with them. Uh, as I said yesterday, this headline has as much or more to do with the collapse of this planet than any headline in the mainstream media. Uh, it, is the, it has a hell of a lot more to do with the future of this planet than a disappearing airplane. Okay, and we will wind up with uh, with this headline that says as much about the end times as anything else you're going to read on the mainstream or the alternative media today from the French News Service. UN 
nuclear watchdog chief says atomic plants are never 100% safe. The head of the UN nuclear watchdog said Monday this morning that his agency would keep working to improve safety after the Fukushima crisis, but no nuclear plant could be 100% safe from natural disasters. There you go. Uh, and, and as long as we're talking about natural disasters, let's don't forget man-made disasters. And uh, there's as good a chance as any that that uh, headline will have more to do about the end times than any other headline, although with or without nuclear power plants, China's plans to expand its cities uh, will take the planet down with or without the help of nuclear power. But anyway, guys, it is a gorgeous day. I have not been down to my rock for days, and so I'm going to head down to my rock to bring you this week's economic meltdown roundup rant. But for this, peek into the headlines for March 17th, 2014. Bye, guys.